Honorable Chairperson, Ms. Chi Suk Chin, fellow speakers, ladies and gentlemen. Now, we are talking about the opposition where to today. Let me start with the present state of politics in Singapore. I think all of us know that there are 85 members of parliament in Singapore and the opposition has only two, which is merely less than, or maybe around it to 2%. Now, any person of sound mind or by common sense, if you go traveling in the world, everywhere else, and you tell people in a Western democratic country that Singapore has just this two, two percent of the opposition, that person will be greatly surprised. And it's a great shame for us to tell them. So this kind of democracy, this kind of state of politics in Singapore, we will ask ourselves and ask the PP why it is like that. So there are many, many factors, the reason as what Nguyen Xiong has mentioned just now and Ms. Chin has mentioned just now. So in my view, I would say that, look, in this kind of extremely harsh, difficult situation, we, the opposition parties, the civil societies, the blogging communities, and the many in the street, the general public, whatever, whoever, and the media, most important, I think I must emphasize the media must really work together, share your responsibility as a citizen to change, to improve the political situation in Singapore. And to me, I think personally, there is a one simple important reason why that this has happened and this has been so and that is I have many times in many occasions say that the group representation constituency is in fact a group representation conspiracy it's a conspiracy I think there are many occasion where the PAP people have admitted to a certain degree in that sense and people in the streets, intelligent or even those so-called academic intelligent at the LKY School of Public Policy, East Asia Study or whatever, they know very well that this is really a conspiracy. Now, Real example are like, I have Mr. I think not not Geoffrey, maybe, you know, he, he contests sometime in Yunos area before as a singer. But then, in 1988, there is a Yunos constituency. And this Yucho, Francis Xiao plus one fellow Malay candidate, nearly get in, then this Yucho become NCNP. But you look at that, the following general exec election, you know no more. Similarly, I think in 1997, when our respected Mr. Jairanam then was also elected as NCMB with high vote, but the following election, you see, Ching San no more. I'm afraid. Next election, Arjuni more or no more. All right. As I say, the group representation constituency is really a conspiracy. And this is, uh, to me, single major factor that it contributed to the present state of politics in Singapore where there are only 2% of the session. I think sometime last year, when our MM Lee Kuan Yew was interviewed by CNN or some international media and he was 
criticized by the human rights organi organization criticizing Singapore's way of government and they say that Singapore is not a democracy. This is what they have said. And the MMD response is that there is a conspiracy to do us in MMD. Then I think a few weeks fell off. Another international press media, another interview asked him about the difficulties that opposition political party face in Singapore and MM's reply is that it's not our business to provide an alternative surviving good organization and he said something which I want to read it to you I am I was a social Darwinist I believe that only need to survive to push society to change Survival requires you to change. If you don't change, then you are marginalized and you will become extinct. So by this, I take it as that MMD Kuan Yew know very well group representation conspiracy is group representation conspiracy. And I want to ask the PAP a simple question. Now, we have only two opposition MPs in Parliament, which is uh, merely 2%. And myself, I'm now 63. I entered politics at the age of 40, 41, I think. 21, two years. It's growing old. Basically, it's a very liberal and optimistic person. But in politics where I am in to do, to struggle, to contribute, or whatever you may say, I am not optimistic at all. <coughs> so my question to the PAB is, if it does happen that one day opposition extinct in Singapore, the PAB, will you take it as your achievement or a sin? Thank you, thank you.